coding tips today in this video for your upcoming CSIR net exam preparation. I hope that important points which I will discuss with all of you in this video will surely help you in doing the best preparation for your exam. And also, if you will follow these things on the regular basis, when you are going to prepare for the exam, these things will work so effectively and will give you the good results in your exam. So guys, the first thing is that if you are preparing for the upcoming exam, you all should maintain a formula notebook along with your preparation. So if you were already making it, that's very good. It will be helpful for you. But along with maintaining this formula notebook, also do the regular revision from this notebook. Here, I would like to tell you some more points about this formula notebook. Guys, you don't need to take the separate notebooks for separate subjects to make them as your formula notebook. No, just in one single notebook, there should be like enough number of pages you need to make the notes of various subjects for your exam. Okay, now what you need to do, just do the partitions there in that one single notebook. One subject in the starting, the next subject, few pages for next subject, the next few pages for other subject and that's how in one single notebook you will have so many important things for uh, doing the revision, you will get everything at one place and you will not have to search the things at different places. Clear? So it will save your time, it will help you to do the quick revision and to make a good command on all these topics as well. How? Because the number of times you will do the revision, okay, you will also be able to make a very good command on all those things. Now, if I am going to talk about next thing. So guys, should you devote or do you need to devote like too much time in updating your formula notebook? So the answer is no. Clear? It's just like in a complete, in a one day or in a day, you just need to devote a... Uh, you can say 10 minutes, 15 minutes or max to max just 30 minutes, not more than that. Clear? So guys, this is also one thing you all should know. Maintaining or making or updating your formula notebook will not require too much time and you should also not give too much time for this thing. Clear? So update it on the regular basis, revise it on the regular basis and make a good command on all the formulae, concepts and tricks. So formula notebook is not only about formulae, important tricks, important concepts and important points for your exam you can note down in this formula notebook subject wise. In the end, like last few pages you can consider for the common expressions like some mathematics formulae, general formulae which you, you usually use in uh, different questions okay like integration formula like differentiation formulae if you will have any difficulty. In any of these formulae, note down these formulae as well at the end. Clear? Or if there are few points where you make mistakes uh, oftenly, so what do you need to do? Also, you can make a note of those points at the end in this notebook. Clear? So this will surely help you guys. One more suggestion from my side or you can consider it the another important tip. Clear? For your exam preparation that is usually students are going to prepare or they solve the previous year questions okay for the exam that's very good thing but when you are solving these questions are you doing them in a systematic manner are you having a record of all those things if yes that's good but if no i would give you one suggestion here so guys what you need to do along with this formula notebook also make a practice notebook now what do you need to do in this practice notebook Guys, whenever you are solving the previous year questions, generally you can do them like in a normal way in your rough notebook or wherever you are practicing it. But if there is any question where you are finding the things difficult, where you have faced some difficulty when you are solving that question for the first time, whether it's relating the formulae, whether it's relating the concept, whether it's like knowing about the steps, whether it's knowing about the answer or approach to solve that question. So whatever kind of difficulty you have faced in solving that question, what you can do to overcome that thing or to make a good command on that thing as well. So guys, simply just note down that question in your practice notebook. 
okay and again make the partition subject wise there okay and just keep on noting down the questions in the related subject category okay or the pages you have allotted for that done note down that question its options okay and if you want to do the complete solution that's okay but if you just want to mention the points where you have made mistake whether it's all about the complete steps clear so you can even write step number one step number two step number three and four like whatever number of steps are there so in this way when you will just turn the pages of that practice notebook it will also help you to recall those points where you are making mistake where you need to focus more clear so it will surely help you again to make a good command on all these things and to overcome your mistakes you will not repeat same mistakes next time and it will surely help you in performing well in the exam also guys these things let's say there is a question which is related to a general concept or a general idea not from a particular topic from your net syllabus clear but it is from your subjects general topic clear so guys in this case again if you were solving it and you were not getting that idea what approach you should take what steps you should take so again this is one thing this question is teaching you something this question is telling you something get that idea and even make a note of that question its options okay and everything whatever you want to write in your practice notebook in that same subject category clear are the question uh, pages you have allotted there it will also be helpful for all of you and will just work very effectively clear so you will be able to see the response you will be able to see the improvements in your preparation after practicing all these things regular revision of formula notebook it's not just making uh, about making the formula notebook it is also about uh, revising it on a regular basis updating it okay and having a track of your preparation what formula you have prepared what concepts you have prepared what tricks you know in a various in the various subjects so all these things will work very effectively clear so guys i hope that the ideas the points which i have covered in this video will surely help you all in doing the best preparation and uh, to just get the good results in your exam clear because mainly the things which matter are going to be knowing about the correct approach exact approach knowing about this thing that what exactly is going to help us to know about the steps to get the answer sometimes we take the help from the options sometimes we start with the options as well sometimes after looking at the options we get the ideas like okay these are the steps we need to uh, take to solve this question sometimes we get the ideas after looking at the options that okay this parameter should be in our answer and we work accordingly clear so i hope now each and everything is clear to all of you and thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you and just start working on these points if you are not working on them yet they will work very effectively and will help you to do the improvement in your preparation thank you very much everyone